Hey everyone, it's JoJo, and today I have Beyblade Burst Random Layer Collection Volume 7. So these are only available in Japan. They come in these gashapon machines where you put in a coin and you have a chance of getting one of five layers. And the prize layer in this random layer collection is this one here in the middle, Twin Nemesis. And this is indeed a god layer system bay. So... That is a prize bay, and I'm going to go over all the other ones first. I'm not going to go into too much detail about them, um, but let's start off with probably like the worst pull, this <laughs> Fang Fenrir. Even though it's, you know, it's not totally great for attack, it's still pretty nice looking. I really like the, uh, the pink and green colors, it's kind of like a Joker color, kind of reminds me of the Joker. And next up we have this awesome recolor of Drigger. Um, this like clear green looks really cool out of like all of the plastic gen burst Beyblades I think this one is probably my favorites um, Well, actually, you know, that's a lie. Dragoon is my favorite probably this one is my second favorite And we have other recolors of this one, which um, I actually don't have I only have the original color um, There was like a darkness color. There's a clear version and um, I believe that's it. But yeah, anyway, we moving on to Gigant Gaia. This is, I think, the only other uh, G2 layer other than the one from a random uh, booster um, volume 6. I don't remember, but it came in a random booster. But yeah, this is the only other way, like the only, like the second release of G2. And it looks pretty nice. I love it. It's... I like using G2. I paired it with um, Gravity Bites for a tournament one time and I, uh, I knocked out <laughs> a stationary attack type combo. But uh, yeah, moving on to Christ Satan. I really love this color. Uh, red, of course, many of you know, is my favorite color. But yeah, nice gold accents to it. Really, really cool. And again, we've had other recolors of this one too. But yeah, probably this one is my favorite. And now moving on to the prize layer. This is Twin Nemesis. And like I said, it is a god layer. So the god gimmick for this is that it has two modes. One is smash attack mode and the other one is upper attack mode. So let's go over that real quick. Um, right now it is in um, smash attack. So if you look at it from the side, and it's, it's the right spin, so spinning to the right, this is the point of impact right here. It's pretty small, and it slopes downward like that, so uh, I feel like it might kind of throw off the other Beyblade, like off balance. So yeah, that is smash attack mode, and to switch the modes, you have these two tabs here underneath. And when you do that, you could switch the whole part. You could turn this all the way around. And it clicks like that and now it is in upper attack mode so now spinning to the right you can see that this upper part comes up there so yeah that's that's really really neat I don't know which one is better but I know like from MFB people prefer upper mode in certain Beyblades like El Drago but yeah it's it looks really really nice so yeah this is an attack type and another cool detail that I really, really appreciate is that when you lift up the tab, it hides the eyes on the face there. And there's no eyes on the other side, it's just black. So that you could flip that around again. So let's do it from a top view. All right, so now it is in Smash Attack and uh, these parts here kind of looks like a spine it like becomes visible and when you turn it back to upper it hides it and yeah let's uh, take a close look at the teeth it does have pretty good teeth this is an attack type after all there's only three there's only three teeth but yeah it's I'm pretty curious about this because um, the way the weight is it kind of reminds me of flash Sagittaria where uh, if you put it in attack mode, um, a lot of the weight is on the outside, so I ho I'm kind of like hoping that it'll kind of perform that way because Flash Sagittaria was really good for attack. And yeah, I 
think I'll try both modes when I test this guy out. And I actually don't know what the official combo for this Beyblade is, so if you want to give me some suggestions and I, um, like in the comments, and I will totally battle with your combo. Well, whatever I find that is, um, seems pretty suitable for this layer. And all right, that's I guess I, th I guess that's pretty much it. The design, I guess overall, it kind of reminds me of uh, Diablo Nemesis from the 4D system uh, Beyblade. Just the way of the color, like it's purple and it's got some black there, and I believe there were some like diamond shapes on it as well. You can see there's like little diamonds on the top, on the top layer, and I believe Diablo Nemesis had that too, and like throughout the whole metal wheel. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for this little short review. What do you guys think about Random Layer Collection Volume 7? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to favorite and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time with more Beyblade Burst. See you soon.